And it's maybe a generational thing that's becoming less and less so. But I find that, you know, in people of my mother's generation and, and of my, even my generation, the 80s babies and whatnot, were, were raised with grandparents who were, you know, in, in many cases served in the Second World War in Korea. Just the recognition of what the military uniform represents. I, I remember, you know, right from the time I was in cadets, you know, wearing my beret and having to figure that out. Going down, at, you know, to sell poppy or little tags for the, uh, for the Legion down at the, um, at the, the beer stores and whatnot. And, uh, and I just remember people would look at you differently and especially the people who I really cared about, the elderly people. I really had a good, I really, I've, I've always respected people who've lived more longer than I have, you know, I have. And there are some people who've seen things that I couldn't even comprehend in 10 lifetimes. And for those people to look at me and drop a, a quarter or whatever and, and buy that poppy or buy that little tag or, and, and look at me and be like, you know, good job, son, you know, or good job, you know, it was a cool thing. It, it, was, it was something different. And then when I joined the, the, the military, I don't think I've ever been, sorry, I don't think I've ever been prouder than the day I got my uniform in the military. I don't think I have.